Welcome to another pick a card with me, the Divination Duchess. So today we are tapping into who's hating on you, okay? We need to find out who the haters are, what they hating about. Usually it's some BS, you know, maybe a little jealousy, you know, just feeling some type of way. But we gonna find out here today for you. So as always, we got three cards for our three piles tap into your intuition right and choose the one that's calling out to you most also please note as I always say this is a general collective reading so some messages may resonate for you some may be for someone else that is absolutely okay there could also be messages for you in multiple piles so if you feel inclined if your intuition is pulling you in different directions then a hey, check them both out okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started you can choose out of number one the emotions card two the snake eternity or three the crow or the destiny card and we will go ahead and get started here with these reveals Hey, welcome to your pile. So really quick, I just want to tell you if you're interested in learning the tarot, if you're already learning the tarot, maybe struggling, maybe wanting a deeper understanding, you should definitely check out my Learn Tarot in Two Hours course, okay? It will help you to understand all the cards or all the meanings a little bit deeper. And it comes with a free digital tarot journal as well as a digital tarot set of flashcards, actually two sets of digital flashcards. So if you want to check that out, you can find it on my website, divinationduchess.com, for only $12.99. All right, let's get started. All right, cute stuff. We are about to find out who's hating on you. You picked the water card here, which we know water represents our flow of emotion. So maybe this person is super emotional. I don't know. We're going to find out. I already got the tarot's pre pulled, and then we're going to pull multiple oracles as always here so we're starting off with the will of fortune the two of swords the hanged man temperance the ten of coins the six of swords six of cups the page of coins the three of swords the ten of wands Queen of Cups and the Four of Cups. So I can tell you right now who's hating on you is somebody that thinks you just give and do too much, okay? They think here that uh, it's like they're hating on your style of interacting with other people. They're in this place where they're actually, it's almost like when a person wants to say, I told you so, it's that type of energy, okay? It's like, they're waiting for your downfall here from maybe being too nice, too giving. And this could be for multiple people. This could be for a specific person. Like if you have a relationship with somebody or, you know, certain family member, things of that nature. But I'm really getting the vibe from this pile here that this person overall feels like you're not making the right decisions in your life when it comes to your interactions with other people. And they feel like, basically they would make better decisions or if you listen to their advice things would work out better for you but they don't really see that happening so let me tell you what i'm seeing here so with this will of fortune and two of swords this person feels like you create a lot of stuck energy in your life or things are like really stuck here um and it's because they feel like you're a bit of a people pleaser or you're too nice you're too easy going um, I feel like this could be someone that's very close to you, like a family member or a friend that almost feels like family with this 10 of coins. Okay. And then we got the six of swords, six of cups, page of coins. This person feels like you have an opportunity to really break some connections off in your life. And this could be, maybe, you know, they feel like you're doing too much at work. I feel like this person has been giving you that side eye or they've been giving you advice to really get yourself out of a certain situation or maybe multiple situations. But because you haven't really given, like taken the advice that they've told you to take, they are kind of waiting on your demise for this. Okay. They're kind of sitting back waiting, you know, like 
let's say, you know, be like, girl, he, you know, he always cheating. But then you're like, no, my man ain't cheating. I'm about to, you know, check it out and see what's up. Everything's good. So this person would basically be sitting around waiting for your man to cheat. So they could be like, you know what? I told you I was right, but you don't ever listen to me. Okay. So this person, unfortunately, even though they like when they initially tell you these things, they're in that state where they're trying to be helpful, but I get that sense like they feel like you're hard-headed. So you know what they say about hard-headed, like you're going to get what you get. You're going to get what you deserve. So I feel like this is that person, but in the deep inside of them, they're kind of hoping for you to fall out with this person, place, stay, whatever, okay? They're waiting for you to have a lot of struggles from just being too sacrificing with this queen of cups, too giving, too loving, too nurturing. And they're feeling like you're really missing the point here as to why you shouldn't be this way. This person feels like you miss a lot of good opportunities and you get yourself stuck in negative opportunities. So I can, I really feel like this person is highly judgmental of you. However, I do feel like in their mind that they believe that this is coming from a positive place. Like they believe that they're helping you or they have your back or they believe that you just need to learn a lesson. Then after you learn this lesson, you'll be able to get on track to a happier and healthier life. Like this person genuinely is waiting for your demise so that you can learn and grow. If that makes sense, you know, like, when you tell, you know, a kid, like you're trying to raise a kid and you're like, don't run because you're going to hurt yourself. And then, yeah, most of the time we don't hope for the kid to hurt ourselves. Yeah, no, that was probably a bad example. Probably a bad example. But this person, yeah, I feel like there's a bit of their ego in the way that makes them feel like that's the only way you're going to learn the lesson. Like, I feel like this person wishes you were a little bit more hardcore. They wish you were... Um, a lot more motivated to get certain people and things out of your life. Like they wish that you were just more motivated to see the truth. They wish that you were just more motivated to listen to them. Okay. I do feel like for a lot of you, this has to do with people that you love in your life, whether it be romantic or non-romantic. And so this person is feeling like because your heart space is open, that's what I was saying with this queen of cups, that you're making horrible mistakes. Okay. They feel like um, the, what you're giving and doing for those people that you truly love, that your heart's open for, that it's not going to pay off for you in the end. And so that's why they keep up with their nonsense. Tell us more about this person that's hating you here. Courthouse. That's what I was trying to tell you. This person is judging you a lot. Okay. They're judging you. They're judging the situation and I feel like, and I hate to say it, that they almost really hope you lose in court. You know what I'm saying? And that's figuratively like this person. And it is not so much that they hope. It's like they just know. In their minds, they know what's right. They know what's good. They know. And you're just making great mistakes. Yeah. So they're deep in their thoughts about this. And I feel like this person, they almost... For a lot of you, I feel like this person may almost feel like a, I keep hearing like a father figure, like a, a person of authority. So like an older sibling or you get what I'm saying? I don't know, somebody who feels like you should revere their advice and look up to them. For a lot of you, this could be a friend who just thinks their advice is all that or feel like they've been through it all. But they really just feel like the decisions you make are leaving you in a bad position. And I'm hearing they don't want to clean up the mess. That's the phrase I just heard, okay? So this person feels like, well, when things go left, you know, in your connections, when things aren't looking up, then you're going to be coming to them, you know, trying to help, trying to get them to help you clean up the mess. And they're going to be like, you know, I don't want to hear all this whining. I don't want to hear all this complaining. Like I kind of told you to leave this situation alone, leave this person alone, but you don't listen. I feel like this person is very much cocky about the fact that you don't listen is their perspective okay now not to say that you have to listen this person definitely can have some control issues quite frankly because 
I've had friends like this who just think that I must take their advice and we end up not being friends because as a friend sometimes or a family member of someone who's a loved one, sometimes you just got to be there to support the person through the mistakes. Like you got to be there to support them through the mess. And this person is really kind of cocky about it. Okay. They feel like they're a bit smarter than you and ahead of you. So they just really don't respect your decision. So that's why they're in this mind state, but it's very much their ego that puts them there. Strength. Yeah. This person feels like you need to toughen up and that's what I've been saying. Okay. They feel like they're strong. They feel like you need to toughen up and be more like them, that you need to be more cutthroat. Okay. Um, and so this really reminds me here of a home girl that I had that used to always try to give me advice. Well, I would have did this and you need to do that and you need to do this and you need to do that and this and that. And what I notice about these people that's always trying to tell people to do, they don't even take their own advice. They be feeling so wise on your business. You get what I'm saying? Like when it's your business, they wise. But when it's their business, all of a sudden, they can't remember nothing. They got dementia, Alzheimer's. They got all that. Okay. They're like, what? I, that's what, what I said I would do. Oh, I thought I said I would do the same exact thing you do. You get what I'm saying? Like, it, it, I, there's a little hypocritical vibes usually with these type of people. We got wishing. So, again, I feel like this person really just focuses on wishing that you would listen to them. That's why there's a lot of ego here as well. Because I feel like you being wrong or you stumbling validates that this person is right. And that feeds their ego. You get what I'm saying? So, with that... It really puts them in a place to want to be right. Oh, so bad. Yep, success. Just like I said, they want to be right. Oh, so bad. So that they can tell you, I told you so, okay? I told you not to do that. I told you to leave that person alone. I told you they wasn't no good. I told you to stop talking to them. We're going to pull a little bit more the sun. So this person feels like you deserve so much more. So that's where I keep feeling like, excuse me, a lot of this is coming from a positive place, but this person is just too much of an egomaniac to know how to handle it and stop worrying about your business. Yeah, exactly. Cause they feel like you falling, you falling victim to some deceit, some lies, some negativity, some drama. Like they're trying to save you. I'm literally hearing, like, I'm hearing that song, Don't Save Her. She Don't Want to Be Saved. Uh, I'm like, who was that? Project Pat, I think. But anyways, this person feels like they're trying to save you, but you don't want to be saved, okay? Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. So this person is like, you know what? If you're going to fall for the deceit, then I'm going to sit back and watch things crumble, unfortunately, that's just where it's at. Like I said, this is somebody that you talk to consistently and co I feel like, and they advise you and they feel like you ain't listening. So the pitfall, they just feel is imminent at this point. All right. That is it, boo. I am sending you love, light, and blessings. And until the next time, bye. Hey, welcome to your pile. So really quick, I just want to tell you if you're interested in learning the tarot, if you're already learning the tarot, maybe struggling, maybe wanting a deeper understanding, you should definitely check out my Learn Tarot in Two Hours course, okay? It will help you to understand all the cards or all the meanings a little bit deeper. And it comes with a free digital tarot journal as well as a digital tarot set of flashcards, actually two sets of digital flashcards. So if you want to check that out, you can find it on my website, divinationduchess.com, for only $12.99. All right, let's get started. All right, boo. So you picked here the snake. I'm like, even with short nails, I can't pick up these cards. You picked the snake. So we are going to go ahead and find out who's hating on you right now. It could be someone with snaky energy, or it could be, okay, someone who just feels like they got access to your energy. So we're starting off strong with a three of swords and a ten of swords. I can tell you, you got bad blood with this person. Ace of coins and the death card. Mm -hmm. We got the knight of wands, the high priestess, the ace of wands, and the justice card. We got the Six of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Coins, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so this person that's hating on you, I can tell you right now, 
is someone that you've either had some sort of beef, conflict with. You're not really dealing with this person like that, okay? I feel like there's been some major shifts, major endings. So either you're not dealing with them at all or you're not dealing with them like that. But I can tell you right now that this person wants to bring things into balance. But in the meantime, they're hating, okay? They're hating on a few different things. I feel like this person wants you to have a level of stagnation. Like they don't want you to have a fresh start. And this could be due to the fact that um, they want you to kind of cling to them in ways, or it could be because they want something. Hmm. I'm like, I'm gonna have to clarify on this pile because I really want to know why this person, because they're not talking a lot about why they hate and they talking more about uh that y'all have some sort of bad blood so i feel like this is someone that you either got into an argument with a disagreement you guys didn't see things on the same page and so there was some sort of major shift in your connection with this death card so like i said with that you probably not really dealing with the person or you're dealing with them very lightly maybe on a cordial note but it's like this person here is hating on you having a sense of newness. What is, what is, what is they hating on here? What is this? Let's clarify that. Ace of coins, ace of wands. What's going on there? Five of cups. Okay, so they're saying here that this person misses you. And I feel like they want you to miss them as equally as much as they miss you. So if you focused on maybe if this is a friend, a new friend, you get what I'm saying? If this is a lover, a new lover, or if this is somebody you felt just did you wrong, you focus on new people that don't do you wrong. Like this person is hating on that. Like they want you to have more focus here on them. They're definitely missing you in their lives with this five of cups. And they feel like things will be more balanced if you guys can overcome whatever type of bad blood you've had in the past. Okay, okay. This person is feeling like they have to wait here to communicate with you or communicate that they feel like y'all need to clear some things up. So in the meantime, they're really huh, hating. Okay, tell us more about they hating. Page of Swords. I feel like this person is also hating because they can't manipulate your mind, okay, with this Page of Swords. Like, they're mad because they can't tell you anything and you believe it. Like, you be following your intuition. You're not falling for the okie doke. You're not believing any nonsense. And I also feel like this is why this person don't want you to have new people and new, and new experiences in your life because they feel like that opens you to more truth. That opens you to more opportunity and you're not focused here on their nonsense, their lies, their games. And what they got to say. I feel like this person watches you a lot as well, okay? Or they may ask people about you, be talking about you. Like, this person still wants to be involved in your life highly. But instead of just kind of being a grown-up and coming and discussing how they want to be involved, they're sitting back, you know, hey, I'm hearing that somebody, they talking about you to people. So, this could be people that is in the same circle or this could be their own personal people that they just need to vent to but it's saying that they kind of defame your character like they kind of lying a little bit here as to what happened but i feel like it's because they really feel like they're in the right and that you're in the wrong tell us more about who's hating here on pile two i told you yeah you caused this person some despair they're not feeling too good. And it's like, how dare you is what I'm hearing. How dare you either talk to me crazy? How dare you cut me off? How dare, you know, this situation happen? Like this person feels like they was your world. I'm really getting that energy of, um, what was it? Um, Denzel and training day. You know how that man was just so cocky. He thought he was running everything and ruling everything. And everybody had to answer to him and look up to him. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting because that's the vision I'm seeing, okay? This person feels like you got the nerve to try to not talk to me. You get what I'm saying? Or you got the nerve to try to buck on me? Like, no, okay? So this person definitely got some pride involved, but it seems like most people just hating got some pride involved. So that's the normal MO. Sudden wealth. This person wants things to just all of a sudden be better and be different. But they feel, like I said, you're moving on to better things on your own and that's what they don't like okay so it's like 
They're like, wait a minute, you forgot about me though. Or wait a minute, you gonna act crazy with me, but then treat this person all good. Cause I'm telling you they in your business. Like they trying to figure out how you dealing with other people and other situations in your life. Like this person is a little bit obsessive on being right here. And so that's where a lot of this hating is coming from. We got married. So this could be somebody and that may be why they feel you need them. Maybe you got, you know, new love, new things like this. This could have been someone that you had some sort of commitment with in the past. This could have been someone that you were seeing, but there was some other, you know, marriage involved. Something is happening here, but this person may be, you know, jealous because you're working towards a new commitment, but this person, I feel a lot of jealousy definitely in this pile. Okay. Um, because they don't want you to have nothing new. They don't want you, they feel like you shouldn't be moving forward and you shouldn't be moving on towards your happiness. They feel like you should be stuck in this kind of despair with them and this kind of sense of misery. And that kind of goes hand in hand with the snake. Like they feel like they own you for eternity. You should be suffering with them for eternity. Like how dare you? Okay. Why is they hate in here? Why, why, why? Openness. They feel like you used to be open with them and now you just blocked them out. You don't give a damn about them. That's the problem. So they like, damn, first I felt like I was this person's world. Now I feel like they don't give a damn about me. They out doing new things, hanging with new people, having fun, enjoying life, going towards what makes them happy. They knew stability and they feel like this is imbalance. Okay. They're like, what the hell? No, you should not be doing that. You, you were supposed to be including me in your life and now things are imbalanced. So this person is definitely doing a lot of hating and that's why I'm saying they hating on your life. They hating on your situation. They definitely talking trash here in pile two. They spreading the word. Atmosphere transformation. And that's what I was saying already as well. This person feels like you've chosen new people, places, things to deal with that don't include them and they don't like it. Okay. But I, I don't feel like this person and this is, is in the mode of apologizing. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm like, yeah, I don't feel like this person is in a mode of apologizing. I feel like they just want you to, you know, come down to size is what I'm getting. Tell us more about who's hating here on pile two. Who's hating? Who's hating? Envy. I knew it. This person is jealous. This person is jealous and they constantly watching you. Okay. They constantly watching, talking trash, wondering. They mad about what you doing that's new, that's happy, that don't involve them. It's just that simple. Okay. They... They just can't believe it. They can't fathom it. They're like, what? Not involved in me? Like, what the hell is this? Who the hell are you? What you think this is? Yeah, they, they, they aggy about this. They are not happy. They are not happy. They are definitely trying to figure out when you coming back towards them. And I just don't see it. We got the thinking woman. I feel like this person is thinking about you constantly. And this does not mean that they're a woman. They can be masculine or feminine. But at the end of the day, this person is always thinking about you. That's why we got the despair, the jealousy, you know, the talking about you, the asking about you, the going around in circles, the waiting for your downfall. Waiting. It's, it's just nonsense. It's just nonsense here with this person. Okay. They're, they're a little bit obsessed here with you but then wondering why you know they're you're not making them your world and i think that's the problem with this person because you're obviously their world you get what i'm saying like they worried about you they talking about you they looking you up they jealous you get what i'm saying they upset they don't want you to have nothing new and happy and positive so it's like this person is wishing you were just obsessed with them as they are with you but they see you not because you focused on new and better things you ain't worried about them and they don't like it they don't like it. Not one bit. Tell us more here. Who's hating? Differences. Yep. And that's what I'm saying. It's like from black to white. And that's happening with this openness here. They feel like you choosing now something that's better. Okay. Maybe they represent white, but now you choosing black. They represent apple, but you choosing the orange. You're like, you know what? I'm tired of apples. Like apples been working my last nerves. They're not that good. They're, fr they're, they're frustrating, okay? They stressful. They get stuck in my teeth. You know what I'm saying? And so this person is like, oh, they think oranges is all that? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, okay? They think black cats are all that? No, no. Yep, this person's been spending a lot of time alone once again thinking about you, the growth. This is pile two. This person is almost obsessed with you. This should have been the who's obsessed with you reading because... They be thinking about you and thinking about you. The Grove also represents going into this quiet with oneself. But in person, instead of this person focusing on themselves, they focused on you. They worried about what you doing. Why you ain't dealing with them? 
Why are you looking happy without them? Why are you moving forward and not needing them? Yeah. Whole hot mess pile too. Whole hot mess. It was a pleasure sending you love, light, and blessings. And until the next time, bye. Hey, welcome to your pile. So really quick, I just want to tell you if you're interested in learning the tarot, if you're already learning the tarot, maybe struggling, maybe wanting a deeper understanding, you should definitely check out my Learn Tarot in Two Hours course, okay? It will help you to understand all the cards or all the meanings a little bit deeper. And it comes with a free digital tarot journal as well as a digital tarot set of flashcards, actually two sets of digital flashcards. So if you want to check that out, you can find it on my website, divinationduchess.com, for only $12.99. All right, let's get started. You picked here the Crow or the Destiny card. So we are going to find out who's hating on you right now. Got the tarot's pulled, then we'll pull multiple oracles. So we're starting off here with the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Coins, the King of Swords, the Four of Swords, Strength, the Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands, Six of Swords, Page of Swords, Eight of Cups, and the Six of Coins. So why is this a person Hating on you. So, I feel like this, there might be some messages in pile too for you as well. Because it's a similar storyline, but a little bit different. Definitely different. But this person here is really feeling like at some point you were putting more energy or effort into them. Okay? Or your connection, your friendship, maybe your conversations, um, your relationship, if it was romantic, like something about your energy was really more focused here on them. But they feel like at some point that slowed down almost to like a halt or a major ending. Like they feel like you just did a 180. Okay. Like one day you loved them. The next day you hated them. Or one day y'all was cool and everything was good. The next day you distant and kind of quiet. It's like that with this person. I'm sure they probably did something to you to make you feel this way to kind of pull your energy back, but they really feel like you loved them. Then you hated them almost. Okay. Like this person is a little bit wondering what happened as far as the connection. They feel like you've gone stone cold on them. And so they're really hating on that because they feel like you just kind of went from, I care for you to I'm really not messing with you. Like you're a non motherfucking factor, excuse my language. Okay. So at the end of the day, this person is feeling like you've kind of rested. You've kind of doing your own thing. You're pulling back from them. And so they're trying to gather their strength here to start up new conversations with you. But at the same time, I feel like this person is not sure how to make balance. So in a lot of ways, they're kind of just hating. Okay, I get that. They feel right now, this person is definitely watching you a lot. Okay, or thinking about you a lot, maybe looking at old pictures a lot, things of that nature. They are in the state of, I feel like they're a little bit misinformed or they don't understand. I almost feel like this person's kind of slow. Like whatever they did or they don't understand it or whatever you going through, they don't understand it. And it could be that they're not necessarily slow, but you didn't communicate. You could have just kind of definitely pulled back and decided, you know what, I'm just not really dealing with this. Okay, so we know this person is feeling some type of way, but in what ways is this making them hate? What are they doing to actually hate here? Okay, so this is where I was saying kind of similar to Pile 2. So Five of Cups here. This person, like I said, is more focused on the past and how you used to treat them and how you don't now. So I feel like theirs is more kind of obsessing over you and what happened. What's going on here? what's what's going on here what's going on five of swords yeah this person feels like there was some sort of conflict or some sort of major shift that happened so 
it, it could have been that y'all actually had some sort of argument, beef, altercation, or you could have not. You could have really just pulled back or just started treating this person different. It reminds me of like, say this person was always asking you for stuff and at first he was always giving, but then you start to think, you know what, this person is a mooch. Like I'm tired of always giving them stuff. So then you start really scaling back your energy. You get what I'm saying? To really focus on you and your self-love. But now this person, and this is just an example. I'm not saying this is exactly what happened, but now this person is like, wait a minute, where is my person that's always taking care of me and loving me and giving me stuff? You get what I'm saying? Like, they feel defeated by the fact that you're like, I'm not doing this. I'm focused on self-love right now because you're working my last nerves for whatever it may be. Okay, what is going on? So this person is feeling very defeated. Yes, because they feel like things were at one minute stable between y'all. Then all of a sudden, things were just unstable. So I, for this pile, I, can, I feel like this person is not necessarily waiting on your downfall or your demise. Like they're not hating in that way. They're hating that you're not dealing with them. That's what they hated on. They hated. So they're hating on the fact that you're not really focused on them, putting energy into them, dealing with them, caring about them, helping them, all of that. They're like not really understanding it. What's going on here? It's hating. Coughing. Yeah. You put it into the nonsense. You put it into it and they don't like it. They're like, what? This just came out of nowhere. I feel like I'm hearing the word gravy train. I feel like this person thought they had a gravy train to your energy, whatever it was, whether you was coddling them, giving them stuff, always listening to their sob stories and problems, showing up when they need you. But I feel like this may have been one-sided. And that's why you like, nope, I'm good on it. I got to focus on my stuff. Or, you know, you probably going through something, but this person so focused up their own ass, right? That they can't even focus on what you going through. They focus on their damn self. Okay, what's going on here? Why they hating? Why they hating? Toil and labor. That's what I'm saying. This person wants to put you to work, baby. Okay. They want you to make them feel better about themselves, about life. They are always kind of tugging on your energy. It's like, they're like, wait a minute. Like, where are you? I need you. But you're like, no, thank you. I'm good. I, I know this feeling. I've had tons of people with this energy over a lifetime. And I've learned to cut them off at the knees immediately. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Courtship. This is somebody where it's almost like you guys were always talking, always together. And it could have been dated, but it could not be. It's just like somebody that you really doted on. And then you just got tired of it because you was like, this person's a taker. This person always needed something. This person's always got a problem. This person don't care about what I'm going through, but they don't like it. They're definitely hating on this. They like, hell no. I feel like a lot of them is praying against it or trying to manifest against it. They definitely trying to manifest you back. Yeah. Cause they're mad. Cause they feel like you are growing. Like You've outgrown them. They feel like you've outgrown the connection. You've outgrown them. You are really kind of over it. They can feel this and they don't like it. They don't. They want everything to go right back to the way it was. And so, yeah, it's like they feel like you no longer believe in y'all's connection, that you no longer have faith in it, which I hear a lot of you don't. You're like, you know what? I don't because this person's a taker. This person's needy as hell. This person always got a problem. This person's stressing me out. And what I've learned about people like this is they never see what they take. And it's like, they just feel entitled to constantly receive, receive your energy, receive your time, receive your love, receive your understanding. And it's like, no, I'm sick of it. I ain't giving nothing else out. Back off and buzz off. Okay. What else is going on here? Why are they hating deceit? Ooh, let's clarify that. What they think there's some deceit about? What's going on? What's going on? Rigid. Okay. <laughs> it's almost like that energy of, I know this is a lie. Okay. I know this is a lie. I know this is some BS. Okay. This person is feeling some type of way about your rigid attitude. Like they're like, this is a lie. Like this person has not all of a sudden flipped the script. They are not being dry with me. They are not being stern with me. They are not, you know, this person is feeling like this got to be a lie. <laughs> this person is a mess, okay? They like, I know they playing. I know this is some BS. Like, I can tell you right now, this person is definitely going to be trying to get back into your energy space. Like, I can feel it because you just represented something so good to them. Like, I'm seeing ice cream and it's like... I love sweets. So anytime I see some sweets, I know you just represent something so good and tasty and delicious. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why they, they just over it at this point. <laughs>
Like, I know you lying. You better bring your ass back over here. Yep, they heartbroken. They heartbroken because they're like, how the hell you went from validating me and loving me and taking care of me and nurturing me to just blowing me off? Like, who do you think you are? Like, why? Yeah, mm -hmm. for a lot of you, this definitely was somebody in a relationship that was just draining you dry as hell. This reminds me of my ex-boyfriend always wanting something and needing something and then wondering why things went downhill, okay? At the end of the day, this person's going to have to get over it. I hope you keep standing your ground. Yep. That says you walking away. They saying, yeah, you definitely standing your ground. You're over it. You're over it. You're like, I'm not about to continuously be putting all this time and energy into you and this connection. And then you ain't got nothing to offer except for more needs and more wants. And so it don't matter if this person is hating on it. You don't care. You like, you can hate on it while I'm loving on it because I'm taking care of me. I'm happy. I'm feeling free. I'm no longer feeling bound to your problems, your emotions, your issues, your needs, your wants, your desires. It's always something new. You are feeling free. You are feeling content. You are feeling happy. You are feeling like it's a brand new day without this person and they nonsense. And most importantly, you feeling like things is coming to balance, baby. You're like, my life is balanced now. I'm feeling at peace. So this person is hating a little bit on your peace just because your peace means that they're misery. Okay? Your peace is a lie to them. They like, wait a minute. Where's my gravy train? No. Okay? Where's my coddler? Where's the person that always got my back? Giving me stuff, doing stuff. You know, this person is very self-absorbed to say the least so i feel like you really making the right decision to kind of pull your energy back if you haven't completely cut them off i'm not saying you need to it's up to your own discernment and intuition but with the energy i'm feeling i feel like you validated in pulling yourself back and not giving this person what they want because they needy and they greedy as hell and they don't like the thing getting your energy or your attention. And I feel like Spirit is saying with this crow card, it's part of your destiny, okay, to leave this nonsense alone because you deserve a hundred times better. It was a pleasure sending you love, light, and blessings. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And until the next time, bye.